Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video we will see how to implement basic authentication using Spring Security in Spring Boot. As you know that Spring Boot follows the naming convention. So let's copy one of the dependency and change artifacted from batch to security. See it starts downloading Spring Security related dependencies. Let's run and see. Just after adding Spring Security dependency is there any change happen? Oops forget to comment job scheduler cron and other annotations. Let's run again. As you can see, some security related log like using default security username and password. Let's an open application. See it is asking for authentication, so just add a spring security dependency and it enable basic authentication with default username password. So here username is user and let's copy password from the log. If you don't have much time and you want to secure your REST services then this is the best way. See everything is working fine. Now let's change this default behavior. So instead of default username password, let's keep customized username password. Let's create the class under config package just to make it simple class name is spring security configuration. So this class extends web security configure adapter. Mark this class as a configuration. Need to override configure method. Whatever code we are writing itself explainable. We will keep username password and application properties file. So when you log in so this time username password will pick from the properties file. So how simple it is. Let's run and see it is working or not. See it's working. Let's see one more way to secure REST services with the use of default username password. So let's comment username and password from the properties file and create the new class called authentication entry point. This class extends basic authentication entry point. Override commence method and in this method, we will going to change some of the response properties.
Let's override one more method called after properties set. So this code helps when you try to enter wrong credentials so instead of nothing give a proper message. Let's comment configure method add authentication code using the entry point. Let's create one more method called configure global and this method helps to check in memory authentication. So here like that you can create multiple combinations for username password and role, if you want to secure REST services based on role also. Let's enable web security for this class. Let's run and see it's working fine or not. Oops error. Let's fix. Actually, we forget to mark authentication entry point as a component. Let's run again. See it's working. Let's review whatever we added. In this video, we saw three ways to authenticate our RESA services. First, using default username and password. Second, using read username and password from the properties file. Third, using little more smart way so you can secure REST services based on role also. Let's commit code to GitHub, whatever we added. See it's done. Changes are available. I hope you like this video, then please subscribe our channel.